Oh, this is Kevin Lee. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Soul Land reloaded up today. A few things to go over. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, <laughs> nothing uh, major going on. We got many events going on currently at this time. Standard time limited events. Uh, Divine Tool event is up. So this is really, really. I, I like the do like the Divine Tool events. They're exceedingly expensive in terms of diamonds, though. <laughs> Because, but they do have a really lot of good stuff. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, the first SP uh, divine tool that they came out with, the Sword of Life. You can make it in the, inside of this event. I do have, I did summon it, so we finally do have uh, our first SP divine tool that I was able to summon. It, it's unfortunately it's, it's the uh, an HP version, which is what this indicates. There's two types of destruction in HP version. Uh, this is an HP version, so you're not going to get really any type of damage out of this. This one right here, uh, recovery speed and converts uh, damage received 15%. Uh, okay. Uh, and it deducts that. So you're not going to see any type of, you know, massive increase in your, you know, damage output from this. But it's not designed for that. It's an HP version. Uh, so the next one, of course, that they have will, of course, be a destruction type that's probably the one that you want to go for uh you can get you can get healing uh you know hp percentage increases defense increases physical magical defense increases. you can get all that stuff from soul bones uh and from herbs even so you know divine tools in this case you do but you can know the thing about it is you can only deploy two destruction okay and since you've got four slots after you uh start maxing out the uh, uh the diagram you could you can only have two so you could, you're gonna have to have two hit points okay so two hit points to destruction uh is all you're all, all you're going to be able to apply okay so keep that in mind there's no use running up four destructions because you're not going to be able to use them all <laughs> you're only going to be able to use two uh so you're going to have to have two uh, of the others as well so make sure that you do focus on the two so i will be focusing on this one um just simply because it's nsp and it does have a pretty good setup. Uh, I'm only going to focus on it until a destruction comes out, and I'll be switching to that some because I don't have any trouble with survival. Okay, I'm running four attackers, uh, three SP, one triple S. So I haven't had any issues whatsoever with survival. Nobody dies on anything. Uh, of course, that is from a PvP uh, and PV machine, if you will. Um, have nothing in terms of that is any you know any shape of making you know even remotely close to having a death so you don't need to worry about that now if you're going to go in pvp of course you're going to need healers you're going to need tanks you're going to need you're going to need the whole kit and caboodle as they say but for basic pv uh pv you're not going to need uh tanks or healers for that matter um now so the divine tools up so to complete this uh and you get a bunch of uh uh, the, for the triple S, this is a really good chance to start working on bringing some of these up. Um, as you can see, they've given us two destruction and two hit points uh, in terms of the triple S's. Um, but I'll be honest with you, there's really not a whole lot that they're doing with divine tools. Divine tools are exceedingly neglected in this game from a free-to-play perspective. They just don't have the event enough. Uh, they don't give us enough shards. Um, as you can see, they're just now releasing the first SP just a while back. We've already got three, two or three, uh, hidden weapon SPs. Let me see how many we have released. Uh, we've got two, and as you can see, I'm, you know, I'm already, you know, working on those, but, uh, we have the two that I do have. Uh, and then there's two more right down here. Um, so they've already released four SPs. They're just now getting around to the first complete completion for the first SP and the bone tools. So they're just they're just not there's not you know they're not focused on enough. So in my eyes, it's probably just best to focus on the triple S because as you can see, you can make a pretty good living off of that. I've got two completely maxed. One that's going to be maxed here very shortly. I only need like I think something like. 30 or 40 shards uh, to actually upgrade this. Um, actually, 
uh, 64 shards a little bit lower than I thought. But you can get this one is the uh, you can get one of these every day for free. Uh, this is the uh, the cannon. So this is available. This is one that's uh, the transition. So it's available inside of the actual uh, for you can get you can get shards for that from there. Um, this one uh, I'm bringing up, but focus on the triple S's. Uh, get a couple of those maxed out. You'll be fine until you go start working on these. Okay, they're just you know they're new, um, so you're not going to see a lot of shards for them, but they are fairly generous as you can see with the shards for the triple S. Uh, unlike in terms of divine tools, which even the triple S's are not that. Well, mag that as you can see. Okay. Two, one, no, just nothing here. Uh, they just don't have it enough. Um, it's the least, it's probably the least uh, mini vent that they have. Okay. It's sort of like, uh, let's do some hidden weapons, you know, let's do all kinds of it, and then throw in a divine tool event. <laughs> so uh, don't look for anything uh, in terms of large scale with these. Uh, they're, to be honest, they don't offer a lot in terms of BP, but they do offer some pretty good skills, uh, which is what I focus on. I usually run uh, a couple uh, double S's, and then I've got a couple maxed out SS pluses, these two, which I still use. Okay, they're fully maxed out, fully enhanced. Uh, well, they're not enhanced, but they're fully maxed out, upgraded wise. Um, so I just use these, two of these, and two of these is usually what I scroll out. Okay, if I really want to get serious, I can run all four SS plus. But I find out that because I don't, these are only three stars and the enhancement's low, that I still get more of a use out of these two. Remember, you can only have two destruction, two hit point. Okay, so you can't run, you know, I can't run the Dragon Sword, the Reverse Scale, uh, the Azur Divine Sword, and then the Rakash to say I can't run all four of those. I have to run two of the hit points. So I usually just run oh, one destruction, one hit point from the Triple S. I did one destruction, one hit point from the SS Plus. And that's usually what I run in my divine skill set. And it, it serves me well. I haven't had any trouble. Uh, and if you find out that the BP doesn't give you more than a couple of billion in terms of BP, uh, you're looking for uh, passive sets that they, this gives you. It doesn't really give you that much in terms of um, uh, a, a hugely noticeable. Um, I mean, it, it's, it, it, it definitely helps. But it's not something that's noticeable to the point where you're, you know, if you're taking away soul bone pieces and stuff like that, you're going to notice a lot. You know, you're going to notice a large decrease in your BP. But um, so just, yeah, keep it on that. But I, uh, divine tools, you know, I purchase everything when it comes out. Something because of the fact that they don't have it enough. Okay, they're starting to include master forge. I'm hoping we'll see a divine tool master forge. But I really don't think there's been one. In terms of that, I think they did have the hidden weapons in there, but I don't think I've ever seen the Master Forge host a Divine Tool event. But um, it's something that I might start looking at. But i really just rather refer on the hidden weapons because you can get more of a bang for your buck on those. Uh, so that's what I look at. So there is a Divine, uh, divine Tool uh, event up. It's going to be ending here. Uh, I think it ends, actually, I think it ends today. Yeah, today is the last day. I was out. Oh, over the weekend, so I was out of pocket. Uh, I was unable to get any videos pumped out, and I wanted to pump out a video on Friday, but we were out of town. Uh, we left Friday shortly after uh, after I got out of work, so I didn't have time to make it uh, and record it during the day. Work was busy, so I didn't have time to record it and then post it. You know, you can record a video and then schedule. You know, I record the video, post it, uh, and then you can schedule when to make it public. Um, I didn't have a chance to do that, uh, so. This is so, but do focus on this today. Um, make sure you purchase everything that you can because, like I say, these events don't happen very often. Uh, there's also an extended bone uh, chest inside of here. So, um, again, um, useful, just mainly for this. Okay, um, is the primary reason to get that. However, based on the fact that um, I've been getting a lot of people ask about if. Should you sh you should be going for this because there's only one other set out. There's the triple S set that I've got on um, a tank sand, the Viking tank sand. This is the only other set that's in existence. This it's a triple S set. It works for all characters. Um, it gives you uh, the buff 
passive based on what type of character you put it on. It's going to give you attack, buff, and stat if you put it on an attack character. Uh, if you put it on a support character, it's going to give you hit point and a hit point buff. And if you put it on a defense character, uh, it's going to give you def or a tank. It's going to give you defense. Okay, so it works on all three. So it's the only, you know, only thing that you need to worry about. But they really don't offer it very often. <laughs> um, you see it occasionally. Uh, I managed to get it based on a Soul Forge event. Uh, I just wanted to get a set and try it out. Uh, it's very productive in terms of what it offers, but you really can't upgrade it, okay? Um, so in the meantime, while you're working on upgrading this, which I've been trying to do for the last year, I'm just still focusing on the SS Pluses uh, and uh, the Sea God set. Um, it's very useful. Uh, I've upgraded them, maxed them out. Uh, got to my main characters. I'm working on the last set here. Um, so this is what I use. Uh, and it works fine. I mean, it's a good set. It gives you buff. It gives you BP. It gives you good stuff. So that's what I've been using. Okay, so that's where we're at in terms of that. So I would do it. Um, I would keep focusing on the Sea God set just, just because of the fact that we haven't seen a real uh, invitation. Again, this is a, this is a, I think, I think what they're doing is they're just going to be they've got certain items that they don't give you much of that and then they see it and see they put a large amount of it inside the soul forge event so it would not surprise me if in the future we see a soul forge event and they offer a chance to get a buttload of shards for those that triple s extended boat set wouldn't surprise me in the least a chance to maybe level up you know level it up to two or even three piece three star um you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they offered like 200 shards or something like that. And considering it only takes, I think, like 30 or 40 to level it up, that's enough to get a couple of stars on both of them. So it wouldn't surprise me if that happens. Um, Soul Forge events are exceedingly, uh, you you know, Soul Forge events are where it's at. Okay, when there's a Soul Forge event, you really need to get in there and make sure that you, uh, you know, get the maximum amount of core that you can so that you can... Uh, get these items because like i say they had that event we had like 900 phoenix divine blood you, you know you'd have to work for weeks just to get 20 or 30 up and all of a sudden bam you get 900 <laughs> so uh so they do things like that inside of the soul forge events so it would not surprise me um if you you know we know that the triple s extended bones are in there um the triple s herbs are in there as well uh, i've got a full set of triple s immortal herbs um that was courtesy of the Soul Forge event. Um, they get the Phoenix Divine Blood, and now they're starting to throw SP shards. I mean, I have a, um, uh, a Moon 5 Ma from the Soul Forge event, okay? And then uh, uh, two pools inside of the... I did, so basically, I had to do one Divine uh, pool frame in the Divine event. That's all I had to do. Um, to get it because I already had like 125 shards, I think it was, or something like that. I only needed like, yeah, about 25 or 20, 30 shards more, and I was able to get that. So I got even fully maxed him out. So now I took care of my issue where I didn't have someone who was AoE dedicated. Now I have AoE dedicated. It's increased my uh, it's increased my damage potential uh, quite well. Um, battles that I would lose with uh, BP uh, that were slightly higher, I now generally win those simply because I'm dealing out a lot more damage than I was before. Um, and moved Evil Eye into a support uh, function. Uh, he's, he's in Team 2. Okay. So, uh, Team 2, this is what I run for Team 2. Um, simply because of the fact that uh, SS Plus, he got, I can get more damage out of him. These, there's really not a whole lot of damage. I do not want to waste um, time uh, on bringing up one of the SS Plus attackers unless, unless... There is a Soul Forge event where they offer shards for it. Now, remember the Soul Forge event that I got Ma out, they offered chests, but it was only for Tang San, Divine King Tang San, and Divine King Mahjong. None of the other characters were in that. Okay? Now, if they start coming out with Soul Forge events where they're actually throwing, you know, maybe throwing um, another SP character in there, I might be considered to do that. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to wait for Akasha BB Dong. I've got to build up my. S, you know, S shards. Again, I've run them all out. I was really not planning on getting him. Uh, I'll be honest with you, nowhere in my roadmap, I have several of them, was he included. <laughs> I just, the Soul Forge event came, 
and I saw the option to get almost enough shards to summon him. I was lacking AoE. Um, Evil Eye does not give me a lot of damage. Um, and I really did not want to throw an SS plus in there. And I didn't want to waste any shards bringing up one of the S triple S's like Zoo or the Shark. And this just presented itself to us to jump on it. It was a good choice. Um, it's paid off. Uh, this is the, the, the four team. As you can see, my BP is now up to 151. A lot of that was maxed out. Um, Hugh, Divine King, Wu, Divine King, Tencent, all of these armor sets are fully maxed out at plus four yellow. Okay, they've all got full sets, upgraded extended bone sets. They've all got triple S, nearly upgraded um, uh, soul bone sets, and the, the extended bones are coming along as well. So I'm, you know, and so basically right now my focus is just I'm working on bringing up Ma, and as I bring Ma up into the uh, the items on him, I'm start, you know, my BP is increasing. Um, another good thing that you want to focus on, and, and this is a, you want to try to be consistently upgrading something, simply because of the fact that you can get a lot of BP from your actual dragon. Now, I think people still ignore the dragon. Um, you really should not be ignoring the dragon. Okay, you can get a lot of BP from this. I'm almost to 360, which is, well, I'm at 340 right now. Um, and I'll be unlocking this. I'll be also be unlocking his image, and I'll be able to get uh, uh, a nice little image upgrade to there. Um, so keep that in mind. You can get a, a bunch of BP from this. And this is done specifically by upgrading your items. Okay, there's... It, there's nothing that you focus on that's directly associated with this. Um, it's all peripheral. Upgrade your items, you'll gather dragon power, which you can then use to upgrade uh, and cultivate the dragon soul. Okay, so that's, yeah, it's a peripheral event that you should do, and you can get a lot of BP from this. Ranking this thing up a couple is guaranteed to give you uh, about a billion BP. So do not neglect that, uh, because that's where, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff at. Also, uh, I tell people do not neglect... Uh, the soul force um, always check this out okay and just make sure that you place and make sure that you've got the maximum in here because these things do increase okay and each time you get a new character you want to do this because you're going to get a soul power buff if you do alright so that's what we got in terms of that um, we should be seeing something come out tomorrow I'm not exactly sure what the, the only event calendars that you can see are for the basic known events that they run. Um, so we don't know what's going to be popping up um, tomorrow. But I'm assuming, okay, that we probably will have the next characters. It's going to be and it's going to be next week until we see the new character. Um, so there's no use focusing on that. It should be uh, another event for Ren. But, yeah, I'm going to hold off on her. I'm not going to get her. If you're looking for a tank, she's definitely the best tank in the game right now. Um, she's SP tank. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, there's really not much in terms of that. Um, start working on your battle pass. Um, the battle pass ended. I was able to get another uh, another token uh, to, to do posts. And we are starting to focus on this stuff right now. Um, I, as near as I can tell, they're not going to be putting any more skins inside of here. Um, so you can start focusing on... Seahorse, uh, the best, one of the best sets that you can get um, involves the Seahorse. It's a three-piece set. It involves the Sea Lance, the Sea Dragon. You can get the Sea Lance and the Sea Dragon inside of the treasure event that they have where you're, you know, one ticket allows you to take one step. Um, the rewards for that are so you, can, you can get chests that have a Sea Lance and Sea Dragon in them. Okay. Uh, and I was like, where the heck is the Seahorse at? You couldn't get the seahorse anywhere, and now we know why. If anybody was under no, that's why the seahorse is specifically inside of here, is because this makes the best set. Uh, first, just no stars gives you a 20% attack boost. Okay, team attack by 20%, and that's just getting all three of them. You don't even have to star them up. Okay, uh, and as you can see, these are high percentages. Okay, attack by 20, dual death by 20, team block by 20. Team increase HP by 20, and then the final effect is an entire team damage by 20%. So that's just some pretty high-level buffs that you're looking at there, which is why they made this set um, 
a slow set. You know, it's something to work on. Okay, bringing them up. But yeah, you have you're gonna have to. This is the only place to get the seahorse. It's not anywhere else. Okay, it's nowhere else to be found. Uh, and also, sea lance and sea dragon. Sea lance, sea dragon. Okay, so this is you know, this is the reason they've got the set here. This is the you know you want to level up that set. This is the way to do it. But you got to get the token, and to get the token, you're going to have to do the battle pass. I do the battle pass every time. I just completed it. Uh, bought the 10 final 10. I don't need it now, but you're going to buy 10. Uh, so you always want to make sure that you do have 9,000, um, 8,400, in fact, because once you complete the battle pass, it's locked off. Uh, you're, you're always going to need 9 or 10 levels to get to the token. So... If you're doing it from free to play. So I always purchase that. And I just did last one. Purchase, purchased it. So make sure that you have that much in stock uh, around the time when the battle pass is due to end. So that you can get the token. Because you're going to need that token if you want to start working up. Uh, if you want to start leveling up that set. Uh, and I do plan to start focusing on it. Simply because of the fact that I've really got all the other souls taken care of that I really want. I mean... These, these right here, the civet, the snake, uh, the the phoenix, and the sausage, uh, they they're parts of sets, okay. But you know, I I really wanted the set that was focusing on the the attack, and this is the one, the sea dragon and the sea lance. Um, so these are the you know these are the same thing, okay. But as you can see, I've, I'm focusing on the dragon, the lance, um, and the seahorse. As you can see. I'm leveling them up okay uh, I'm very close to actually um, getting ready to you know enhance them enhancement is um, what you're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and start leveling them up okay uh, there the shards are not too bad you know it's it, like any of the like any of the things it takes a few shards uh, how much are they actually how much is the actual um, shard level on this? How many shards does it take to take the sea dragon up? 60. Okay, so they're giving you 30 inside of that chest. So you're gonna have to use, so you're gonna have to use two tokens to actually bring it up. I think it's 30, is it 30? Okay, they're giving, only giving you 20, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so, but you can get 60 because you can purchase it three times. So it's going to take three just to get one star on one of the items. And you have to do another three. So it's going to take six tokens to get enough to actually bring that up to a two star. Okay. And then you're going to have to the C. Let's see what the the C goes. So it's going to take six to do that, and then it's going to take another. Seahorse. Seahorse is fifty. Man, they should give you fifty right out. That's that be even less for forty. That bites. That's got pay to win written all over it right there, doesn't it? Because it's only giving you 40. So unfortunately, you're going to have to purchase one of them. You have to purchase two of them. <laughs> basically. So you're going to need two. So basically, you're actually going to need eight. <laughs> so I could take my set up to a complete two star, or would be a one star set because it's at zero stars. Uh, but it's going to take every single token that I have to do it. So yeah, it's going to take eight to actually bring it up to another set. Now, um, but it's a pretty good percent it's a percentage buff so it's might be something that you want to look for there's really not a whole lot of other stuff to spend on in here i'll be honest uh that's 10 but like i say you can get you can get large amount of this inside of a soul forge event on occasion plus only five wasting a whole token on five is just not worth it uh ss plus you know you, you get minor buffs from this stuff 
Um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It, as it stands right now, this is probably what I would be spending it on. So they do have something nice in here. Okay, I might actually just go ahead and do a head and splurge on it and just see how much it is. Uh, just to see, you know, I, I decided to go ahead and work on that set. I'm not going to work on any other sets at this particular time in time. You will not get anything uh, of consequence inside the Sulphur Summon once you get to the point where I'm at. Okay, you doing your, I do 10 pulls a day, sometimes 20 pulls a day like I did in this case. And as you can see, most of, I've already got all this stuff maxed out. So there's really not a whole lot. I'm just working on, you know, you get a few shards of these each time you go through. And as I do, I level them up. But as you can see, I've pretty much got all these all maxed out, except for the seahorse. Okay, I'm at four and five shards. You know, uh, this one's only a three. Uh, but I get four and five shards on all of these. Okay, uh, the mediums were already done. They're all maxed out. Uh, don't have enough. Uh, I don't even see the need to actually enhance these. The enhancement is not worth it. Um, uh, I feel that you do get enough to handle. I've done the orange, uh, and I'm doing the red. So I'm doing the high grade and the top grade. Um, this right here, of course, um, uh, as I've said, this is, of course, going to be an awesome uh, set to create. 50% HP, damage at 10. Um, dual, I wish they would have put this attack a little bit closer towards the top. I mean, a 50% attack. It, the last two are the ones that, should, well, they, three and four are the ones that you actually should be looking for. But considering the amount of times you see this the only thing you see this is in that treasure event um and that treasure event where you're doing the steps the only time you see it is at the end i think it's like you have to take i can't remember is it 12 steps or something like that 10 or 12 steps and you get a mass you get a chest uh that's the only time i've ever seen it it's in there i haven't seen it anywhere else and i haven't seen this at all or I might not just have gotten lucky maybe these all three of these drop in the chest and i just never saw that one or maybe this is the third chest set. I've only got to the two. The second chest, maybe you need to pay to get to the third. Because you can only get to it if you pay um, to get this one. So uh, I'm not going to do that on that particular event. So hopefully they'll offer it some other way. All right, so that's all I've got. Just uh, got a new event coming up tomorrow. Um, but just want to give everybody an update. Uh, so we are moving along. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Uh, no... I assume, you know, I assume it's going to be quiet until, you know, next month. You know, they'll probably have some type of uh, uh, costume event sometime at the end of this month. And then we're going to be going into November. And then, of course, the holiday season is going to start. So there's going to be all kinds of events and whatnots throughout the holiday season. Uh, so, right, you know, we're closing in on that right now. There should be a fall event pretty soon. Uh, I'm expecting to see that. Um, it might be next, you know, a fall festival event seven or eight day event nine day event uh, we'll have to see if that goes uh, along they had a festival a little while back but it didn't say anything about fall so I'm not exactly sure uh, if they're going to offer one we might see that uh, within the next few weeks we'll have to see okay other than that that's all I've got so uh, again thanks a lot for watching remember to subscribe once you're subscribed you'll see the bell click on it get notified each time I drop a video Kendra coming at you from the corner signing out